What's up, you guys? It's been a minute. Um, I was just getting ready to go to bed, but Spirit said to do a reading, so we're going to hop in and do that. I hope you're all doing really good. Um, how's your Mercury retrograde going? Let me know in the comments below. Um, okay, so I have the Ace of Wands and the Judgment card um, that I've already seen. Um, Queen of Cups. I was hearing the song... Um, cold-blooded by Jesse, and she says basically she's like I'm cold-blooded we don't give a what mind your own mind your own I'm really in my zone got it going on something I don't know so somebody needs to like stay in their lane uh, let's see what's going on Knight of Wands. A passionate new beginning with emotional fulfillment. Sorry, my, you guys, I don't know if you can hear my kitty cat Gilligan. He is grounded right now. Um, he's in the cat room. I had to close the door because um, a few of them weren't getting along. So if you hear him, that's him. Um... Just saying hi. <laughs> um, Six of Pentacles. Somebody getting in their zone, getting into the work zone. Hmm. Somebody trying to move on and somebody not wanting to let go. Spiral out, keep going, spiral out, keep going. That's, I'm hearing spiral out by Tool. Spiral out, keep going, spiral. What's the message here, Spirit, please? Ancestors of the Highest White Light. Chaos, there's some chaos. So the vibe I'm getting is there was some sort of a judgment call and it's like there was like a chaotic situation, something that was going on. It could even be in a workplace, at a workplace, um, but it I, it could also have been like getting in the way of your work. So this could be with a coworker, and it was like potentially trying to get in the way of your work, okay? The Five of Wands. Um, and it's like... you're like moving on or spirits trying to help you to move on and it's like I don't what the hell um five of cups like maybe somebody's feeling a little down about a situation that happened this could also be some like dark empath energy somebody's a victim mentality this just feels exhausting what is the message please spirit three of swords Somebody was trying to hurt you. Somebody was trying to get away with hurting you. Some Somebody, the seven of swords with the three of swords. The hierophant. It's like somebody is looking for forgiveness. I feel like somebody doesn't know like how smart you are or how self-aware you are or something like that. And it's like somebody tried to like fuck with you and it's like you 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 walked away clean. And that's great during Mercury retrograde. Yeah, nine of wands. It's like you you you've been released. You avoided a tower moment. Somebody was trying to create some sort of like chaos in, in your life. I swear it was in the workplace, too, with the Eight of Pentacles here now, um, while somebody was working. Okay, so what is the message, please, Spirit? Answers to the light, white light. Answers, oh my gosh, he's trying to come through the door. 
cats do not like closed doors, huh? No, they don't. See, Gilligan says, no, they don't. Now Nina's going to go play at the door. Okay. Um, it's like this situation, whatever the situation was, it was kind of like... I don't know if it if it didn't it's like it didn't touch you so to speak it's almost like your ancestors like took the wheel and it's like they're dealing with it for you because it's like you you are in a position right now of uh, manifesting um, and it's almost like you don't have time or the energy to be able to deal with people um, I'm sorry, let's pull some more cards. I'm really getting my, my thoughts are messed up because of, because of the cat. Could be with a fire sign. Um, but I do feel like you were very level-headed, whoever this is, and you, you kind of made the most, I, I'm hearing transmuted, you, you may have even transmuted this energy. But somebody's going to have some karma coming towards them. This message is very vague. There are the cats fighting. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's pull a few of the kipper. I do feel like this is something at work. Thief. Coffin. Great fortune. like somebody wanted to put an end to somebody's great fortune. Somebody was jealous of the abundance coming in, so they wanted to steal this from somebody. Uh, like um, stealing the show, I'm hearing. Um, this is a bully. This is somebody who's a bully. This is a dark empath. This could have been a man. A mature man here, but just take what resonates, you guys. Remember that all my readings are general readings. Um, little bits and pieces may resonate with you, little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. Um, but in all of the cards are not gender specific, too, so or rather, none of the cards are gender specific. What else? Spirit answers for the highlight. Expectations. I'd like to clarify expectations for you, ancestors. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, Mercury Retrograde is a great time to, like, take notes on, like, the people that I'm surrounded by. Um, because everyone, I feel like, is, um, like, extra... <laughs> Uh, I don't know, like, uh, it's like, how do you say it? Um, to me, it's like everybody just like walks around um, inebriated almost, honestly. Like, I just feel like everybody just kind of like walks around and it's like they just, I don't know why I can't say the word. It's like, I, I want to say that they like forgot, they, they don't have a prefrontal cortex because they just can't think complex thoughts. They just kind of like do dumb shit. But it's almost like... Okay, this is definitely a situation at somebody's job. Somebody was expecting great fortune. Somebody was trying to steal something from somebody, okay? some It could be a mature man. It could be a male. It could be female. It doesn't matter. But, um... Okay, but we have coffin here. So it's like whatever they were trying to do, they could have even been trying to steal your energy, too. It's not... It's There's an end to this. This is not going to happen again. It's like your ancestors are taking care of this situation for you. I don't know how yet, but we can um, pull some more cards. Like, what's their karma? What's their karma spirit? Um, the trick, though, I think, during Mercury Retrograde is just to stay, like, emotionally grounded. Patient, too. Take your time whatever you're doing. For me, my senses are like so heightened during Mercury Retrograde though. 
my intuitive abilities, my clear audience for sure. Um, and this Mercury retrograde is in Aquarius to so make sure that you guys aren't staying like stuck in your head too much. Okay, Aquarius is an air sign, intellectual intellect. Just people are in their heads too much. You know what I mean? I'd like to know what's their karma. Oh, well, they're just not going to get away with this. Some of you might want to call back your energy. I call back all of my energy, blessed and transmuted. I return all energy that is not my own, blessed and transmuted. I feel like some of you are going to have some good news coming in. Um... You might even have uh, some extra income coming in. I feel like a lot of you are going to be very successful in whatever it is that you're doing. Um, I have the King, the Page, and the Knight of Pentacles here. A lot of Earth energy. Somebody is coming into Christ consciousness. I just heard the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Somebody is, um, it's like, hmm, what else do I answer to when I say it right? Okay, somebody might need to, like, watch what they're doing on social media. Um, like, I just heard there's no one like you, so just uh, don't, like, criticize yourself. I don't know, like, don't, uh, don't compare yourself to anyone. Um, what else their ancestors are going to say, like, you might want to take a, uh, a ritual a ritual bath, an Epsom salt bath, um, take a shower to cleanse yourself. I cleanse myself of all negative energy and command the only love, light, and positive energy mantra when you come home from work, okay? Um, let's pull some more cards. Ancestors of It's like whoever you are, you you know things, okay? And it's it's almost like It's like, but this person doesn't think that you're very smart. Our nemesis does not think that you're very smart. But spirit tells you things, okay? You have an inner light that shines. And I'm also seeing that you, you're becoming very um, protective of that inner light and you're only letting it shine around certain people. So whoever this person is that is trying to create some conflict, don't let, don't let your light shine around them. Just, I, w I would honestly just ignore this person. some new creative ideas that are coming in. Some of you might even be changing careers. And this situation may have kind of made some of you boss up a little bit. Whatever happened during the situation, you, you, you what's beautiful is, is that you have, um, what I'm hearing is that somebody's been taking better care of themselves, so you were, it's like this was a psychic vampire attack, but it didn't really attack you or affect you because your frequency was so high, it just, um, it didn't work, okay, so that's great, congratulations, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune here, it's a card of, um, divine movement forward, um, and uh, divine favor and protection too and um yeah let's see what else we have here so somebody might be coming into christ consciousness okay 
So that kind of puts you in a different space, a different, yeah, okay, so that's why your, your guides had to take over for you, because it kind of puts you into an alternate state of consciousness where it's like, you're, for me anyways, it's like I'm present, but I'm not, I don't seem present. Like, there's a lot of processing that, that ends up going on. Um, and so it's like, excuse me, Nina, please don't. Thank you, my lovey. I'm oh, sorry, you guys. Cats everywhere. Just playing with my tea. <laughs> the hell? Okay, somebody might just be trying to distract somebody from not be, from being able to come into Christ consciousness. From maybe it's like somebody is trying to create some sort of an illusion of, I don't know, of pain or hurt or something like that, which is making it difficult for somebody to be able to open up to that that higher state of consciousness, okay? Don't let them do it. But I don't think that your guides are letting that happen to you either. I'm hearing somebody's clear audience or somebody's a channel, and it's kind of like you, you, somebody who's a channel just kind of like steps out of that space, out of their body, so to speak, and um, lets the, um, the divine speak for them. And in this situation in particular, that may have happened. Uh, somebody might want to start journaling. There might be some uh, feelings that you might want to uh, release that will help you open up to this process a little bit more. Somebody needs to... Um, somebody might just need to have more fun. Um, but I get it though, coming through some sort of an awakening is a very serious situation, so it's like, um, stepping out into the world, it's, it's kind of like a new experience, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, um, but it's like going out for the first time after you have an awakening, I feel like you guys all kind of know, you've been there. Yeah, if this happens, you don't let it get you down. Um, it might be disheartening what has happened, too, I'm hearing. Malachite might be good uh, for some of you. Um, perform a random act of kindness, too. Uh, that will help open up your heart chakra as well. Show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. Nourish your body. Somebody might need more fruits in their diet. Bananas and pineapples. And celebrate yourself. Um, just don't let anybody get you down, okay? Especially during this, uh, this Mercury retrograde cycle, it's... Um, you know what's crazy? It's like this, there's, uh, we're in uh, Aquarius, okay? So Mercury is retrograde in Aquarius, and um, we, um, it's like a lot of people are in their head, for better or for worse. If, if you're self-aware and you're in your head, then it's a good thing. If you are not self-aware and you're caught in your head, then it's probably not a good thing. So just be careful, I guess, of, you know, you know who to be careful with and who who to be careful of, okay? I don't know how this happened, but my battery is is almost dead. So I hope that this helped anyone, someone. I hope that you are all doing really, really amazing. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below too if you'd like. And if you'd like a personal reading too, um, text me 616-485-3479. I'm going to start doing those uh, tomorrow. Okay, Monday, and but you can text me anytime and we can set that up. Okay, I'm sending you guys so much love and, um, you know, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. <laughs>